So I have something that I wanted to share because um, I don't want to forget this. I was thinking about trauma and um, and how we all deal with trauma. Um, yeah, we're we're born as um, you know we're all we all come into the world the same way, when basically, and and then we're shaped by our childhoods and many of the childhoods that. We, we all experience have some sort of trauma um, and that shapes us and we become adults and we either become a product of our trauma or we try to solve our trauma and um, I, uh, my mission has been that a fact-finding mission trying to figure out who I am why I am and, and, and healing and becoming a healthier individual because of or in spite of um, things. And um, I was thinking about my sleep patterns and how poorly I sleep. I've got, I always say, oh gosh, I can't fall asleep. But I was realizing that I, I actually can fall asleep. I fight it, I fight sleep every night I will watch TV or uh, play a game or read and I've done this for ever and I fight sleep I can be exhausted and I fight sleep I fight it like tooth and nail I don't and I, it drives me crazy because I will lay there like literally trying to paste my eyes open while I watch another Netflix you know, my series of Netflixes and um, fight sleep. And I'm in this, in the back of my head, I'm like, you're sleepy, you're tired, turn off the TV, turn off the light, go to sleep. And yet I fight it. And I had an epiphany today. And it's trauma. My fighting sleep is trauma because I was sexually abused as a child. And one of my coping mechanisms, I had a male babysitter that would watch us and I was abused. One of the people that abused me was this male babysitter. And um, I would, my, it was my parents were, had split up. My mom was remarried or, or whatever, already with my stepfather. And my dad was, would go out and he was dating and um so you know he'd pick us up on a friday night and bring us to his house to spend the weekend and then we would have this babysitter billy fucker anyway um and i would wake up to abuse I would fall asleep um, and wake up to being abused in my sleep and um, the my coping mechanism became staying awake so I would lay in bed and try and stay awake until my dad got home and inevitably I would fall asleep and I would wake up to being and I realized today, you know, standing in the shower thinking about, Jesus, I'm fucking tired because I did it again. I fought sleep. And it dawned on me that that's why I fight sleep. I fight sleep. I'm going to be 53 years old in less than a month. And I've been fighting sleep for the last 48 years because of trauma and um, you know the only way to deal with trauma and address it is to to uncover it and and hold space with it speak with it deal with it um, and this was maybe it seems really obvious in just this conversation or this this moment but in all of these years, it never occurred to me that my trauma response 
which was trying desperately to stay awake to not be abused, is now my adult sleeping issues is trying to stay awake. And why do I start, try to stay awake? I fight sleep tooth and nail, all because of trauma when I was a child. And, um, you know, so I don't know, there's lots more to uncover there, but it was just, I was just thinking about it. And it stemmed from my ADHD brain, you know, connecting dots. I was thinking about a, a kid that I work with great, great kid, hardworking kid, um, not a kid, he's in his early 20s, uh, and, uh, from another country, and he's, works so hard, but he, he breaks down sometimes, frequently, actually, probably once a week, he's in tears, either somebody has teased him, or he's just had a bad day, and he will, you know, he, he doesn't make a display of it or anything, but every once in a while, you'll see him in the corner and he's, the poor kid's crying. And, um, you know, I, I had said something uh, to somebody last night that, you know, he's really a valuable individual at my work. He's very valuable. He's very hardworking and he's a great individual. And um, the response that I got is, yeah, he's really hardworking, but he's too sensitive. And then my response to that was, well, we don't know why he's so sensitive. You know, he's obviously something in his childhood, some sort of something has made him this way. And, um, that just got me into thinking, uh, inwardly and, and thinking about my own self and then dot, 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 dot. And we, here we are, I got to this point where I was thinking about things, but, and I'm no psychiatrist. I've never even taken a psychiatry, psych psychology class. I think I took a sociology class once in college, but it's fascinating. And I, I really think that that's, I think, I think I figured something out. I don't have the solution to it right now, but I figured out something today. Pondering. Have a good day.